All right, we are back in Baldur's Gate yet again. And today we are going to do the Gauntlet of Shar and uh, fight Balthazar and maybe get to Moonrise and Catherick. We'll see. I'm not sure. They need to. They had to make the freaking title music such a banger because every time I start up, I'm, it's like stuck in my head and I'm singing it. It's so bad. the free the nipple content I wanted to see today. cordless mouse being in my very near future because now that I'm recording this stuff it's getting really annoying to play with the cord mouse especially with my switch and stuff being on here uh, night song might be within investigate the gauntlet of Shar. pay a little travel the road to Baldur's Gate everything else in the gauntlet. Okay. I'm gonna lead with Shadowheart actually because this is her moment. Pay close attention. Seek the means to access. Okay. Stop telling me batteries low. It's not. It's so annoying. Pay close attention. Seek the means to access the relic. Search in the library. Do not deviate. Do not fail. Return promptly. B. right? I don't remember. Oh goodness. I don't know why I checked these vases. They have nothing in them. Her most vaunted treasure. Her most vaunted treasure. Okay, this is the soft step trial. This one, 
I hated doing it before, but, oh, there's a scroll of invisibility. But she doesn't have disadvantage on her stealth with this armor. So. Greetings. Cast this upon shadow and undead creatures to entangle them. This entangling surface can affect any creatures who move through it. It sucks that you don't get this until the end of Act 2, because... I mean, it does have some uses in Act 3, but it doesn't really. Done. Not like it wouldn't for majority of Act 2. Actually, I guess you could go straight to the House of Healing and interact with her and get it, but... Um... You would still have to wait to get that scene for her to actually give it to you. Oh. That's a trap disarm. an ancient rust-colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc, as if spilled calmly and willingly. You recognize this as a trial where initiates would prove themselves to Lady Shah. This one would put their skills of stealth and infiltration to the test. Ooh, it's the statue. Reach the other side to receive my gift. Okay. I love how in these cutscenes they always have daggers. Like, bro, where are those daggers coming from? Lady Shah values those that can remain unseen and can still obtain what they want. Stealth is a virtue from her very essence. Shut up, stupid things. Cool, now my game's frozen. Oh wait, I need to go this way. This is so much easier with her having this armor. Wow. That was crazy. Let's get this locked yield. Nice! Funny how Shadowheart did that easier with no proficiency and no bonuses than Ilvir does with a plus three bonus. Tell me how that works. I'll take a plaque that once bore the teachings of Lady Shah, but now unreadable. Just goes that way. Don't need it. I don't think there's actually anything in here, but Trap. 
There's a bunch of those. Oh, Misty Step. You can start over here. Dude, so you can basically just essentially go from... You can go like straight ahead. That's easy. What is the issue over there? Well, that's the first trial down. That was easy enough. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom. We'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Um, the Gauntlet of Shar. The Gauntlet of Shar, from where an army of darkest sisters shall rise and join battle against those who shun her embrace. It is said that the name of this most sacred of sites has two meanings. Firstly, it is a series of trials that Lady Shar's initiates must surpass if they are to join her most vaunted ranks. Secondly, it represents the most martial facet of the Night Singer's embrace, the armored fist that shall crush her foes, but gently cradle those who serve her. Initiates cannot advance to Lady Shar's final test until they have earned the right of passage. Each trial shall yield an umbral gem. Each gem shall bring the victor closer to the Night Singer. Once the way is clear, the final sacrifice beckons, and spilled selenite blood shall herald the rise of a new dark, dark justicer. Self same? Yeah, self same. A ghoulish display. It is clear the victim suffered greatly before dying and being put on show. Holy shit, were they impaled by the animal carcass? That's wild. Okay, Jurger. face. This one would challenge their combat prowess. Look upon the statue. Vanquish your old life to receive my wisdom. enemy much of the time. Her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back. Ouch. That's cool. I've never seen that icon before. Prime spot for an ambush. Okay, Shadow Hearts there. Isel's there. Boo. What is Sarin? Oh, there he is. Mm 
I love the way that Ilvir has a different animation when she's or when they're sneaking. Oh, hit that current, baby! Oh, she's gorgeous. Lizzo. Mm. Oh, <laughs> critical into the shadows. <laughs> oh, no, undetected. <clears throat> I love that this is working. Okay. Into the shadows. What is happening? Into the shadows. This is gonna take forever. Oh. Come on. Oh. Into the shadows. Oh my. There we go. I need to concentrate. Oh, here, Lizzo. Reaction. Ah.
Starting's just chilling. Um, three. Oh. There's no way she's gonna hit that. Decision. Slow flagellation. Kill your mirror self. Okay. my left all oh, not working <clears throat> that's so annoying yeah it's not working input Since when was it a... Oh! I didn't even know you could do that! Well, that's nice. Oh, wait. Bracket like that? Or that? Like parentheses or? Another one. Is it okay? Since when was that an issue? It's been like that literally the whole time I've played this game. Hmm. 
It's just not working. What the hell? What if I do right alt? And then... What the hell? This game sucks. You learn something to make your life easier and it breaks. Love that for me. Corpses right there. Greeting. Whatever it takes. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I know what this trial is. Let's see if I lose my mind doing this, because it took me, uh, quite a while to do this trial the couple times, the press couple times that I've done it. Lady Shah's initiates. This one would test their ability to navigate her sacred darkness. Meet the statue. Navigate the darkness to feel my embrace. of Lady Shah's embrace. I must remember where to step and have faith that she will guide me. Okay. I must remember where to step and have faith that she will guide me. Yeah, man. Well, that was easy. That's the last one. The inner sanctum is within reach now. Wow. Wait, did she get inspiration for that? Oh, yep. That was e I don't know why that was so easy. Usually you can't see the path. 
I'll take it though. I didn't even look through these. Not that it matters, but just to keep it consistent. like this open I should be able to double click and have it open wait what's wrong nothing nothing's wrong at all you detect the gentlest of presences disturbing the temple's ancient stale air it seems to encircle shadow heart welcoming her I felt something a presence what was it my lady Shah. dude i can barely even see her you may have felt her but i heard her she gave me a mission there is a holy weapon hidden away the spear of night i have to claim it then use it to make a sacrifice in lady Shah's inner sanctum if i succeed i'll become a dark justicia A spear. There's a library in this place somewhere. That's where I need to look. Without it, the sacrifice to my lady will be in vain. And I won't be blessed as a dark justicia. You really want to go through with this? A bloody sacrifice just to appease Shar? Don't worry. This place has been empty for years. The sacrifice can't be a simple mortal. More likely, it's a monster. And we're well versed in dealing with those, aren't we? We need to find that spear. Then it shall be done. Open the door to the inner sanctum. Find the spear of night. stuck in my throat. Dude. <laughs> so here's a question. Um... What was I going to say? Um, is this whole place torn apart 
just from years of not having anybody come and go? Or is it torn apart because Jurger has been in here killing any sort of just dark justice here that comes in? Because this place is like wrecked. And I can't imagine, I mean, like, Jurger definitely destroyed a bunch of shit. I mean, he's an orth and he has bombs. But I can't imagine that this would be the cause of it. At least not entirely. But then again, he's probably been in here for a hundred years. As long as the shadow curse. So... It would make sense. I don't know. I am curious about that, though. Star in this lead with you. I sneak attack it. Bruh. Fine. was that? Let's do... For the first time ever, I have to actually use my crossbow. <laughs> She crits, man. She does not mess around. Was it? Was it you? You were the one that hit my boyfriend. Man. Uh, 
probably Zell. Lazel will get it. Or not. Critical miss. What the hell? There we go. Blinded. Why? Stop having Ilvir do it every single time. There, teachings of lost lights, love. Love is the cruelest of all the lies used by Lady Shard's foes. It is a disease, one that can ensnare hearts for a lifetime over something as slight as a passing glimpse. Love is arson, a destructive flame offering fleeting light and comfort to the one who feeds it, while insulting Lady Shard's cold, infinite darkness. Extinguish the fires of love. They shall burn you with their heat, choke you with their acrid smoke, and, in the end, leave you with nothing but cold ashes and a hungry heart. Dude, it's so dark over here in this corner. It doesn't help that the sun is like directly hitting my monitors right now. So I can't see like anything anyway. What was that? Closed library section. Only those who have proven themselves worthy to the Mistress of Night are invited to look upon her secrets. Four controls adorn these walls. One permits entry. Place, place yourself at the center of the sanctum. Seek the northwest corner. But be wary. Enter here unwelcome, and darkness will be quick to find you. Don't know what that means. of the faith leap trial your tongue may claim to have complete faith in lady lady Shar, but does your heart follow suit dare your trust dare you trust your instincts and navigate her sacred darkness with only your faith to protect you for those who believe the darkness is a holy path that leads to the night singer's embrace for those of weak faith that shall become hungry pitiless small intent shall be okay intent on swallowing you whole tread only where lady Shar bids you to and you shall have nothing to fear I 
I hate. Teachings of Lost Dark Justice here. None can match the fervor and dedication with which the Dark Justice here serve Lady Shar. They are her most loyal, most ruthless warriors, trained in her methods and imbued with her sacred doctrine. Each initiate must take the life of the Silly Knight before they can call themselves a Dark Justice here. That way, it can be said that every member of their ranks has already wetted their blade with the blood of Lady Shar's foes. Teachings of Lost, Forgetting, and Lost. Dense tome written in an elegant script outlining the teachings of Shar. Lost teaches us the truth, and its void are we, our purest expressions of ourselves. There is nothing nobler than to forget and to surrender oneself to the darkness. For that little grief that gets us there, the Dark Lady rewards us with night's embrace. Night's eternal embrace. Lord. Yawn, who likes Lady Shar? <laughs> Be careful. There are traps about. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have you do this so that I don't have to waste my inspiration again. I got double the DC with the Starian. I would have failed it as Il Ilvir. No one stopped me yet. Home of the Soft Step Trial. The ancient tome advises Sharn and initiates how to triumph in the Soft Step Trial. They must excel in some of Lady Shar's most cherished arts, such as stealth, lockpicking, disarming, and evasion. The unsubtle are destined destined to fail. can silence the night song only the night singer herself Shar, mistress of the night lady of loss her names are many but her purpose is simplicity itself light was a mistake and life is an illusion a discordant song composed of lies breaking the peace of oblivion put your faith in Shar as your champion allow her to silence the false song in your heart and return you to her embrace nothingness is all you need the eternal womb where you are safe in the darkness with mother Shar. sacrifice of the moon daughter it is said that the sacred spirit was once wielded by the night singer herself and now awaits her chosen champion the elders have placed it in a sacred a secret place safe until its intended wielder discovers it with it in hand a final sacrifice can be made at last in the foul moon with saluda gosh i can't stop yawning i don't know why <sighs> In the foul moon with Selena shall weep bitter tears and forsake her misguided followers, but let no ambitious of the night be tempted to seize the spear for themselves unbidden, for they shall find it in an inert bauble, stripped of its holy purpose. Let all of Lady Shard's children be honored to protect the sacred instrument. When the time comes, they shall know they should know they aided the process progress of Lady Shard's destined warrior and helped usher in a return to the endless ecstasy of oblivion.
Keep your distance, darling. Keep your distance, darling. <laughs> that was scary. Let's get going. Tome of the self same trial. Dusty Tome advising Shard and Initius on how to please the Night Singer by succeeding the self same trial. Initius must ensure they defeat their mirror image. Any violence submitted out to others will be penalized. Okay. Gosh, I'm just going through it today. Curse to put my hands on it. Can't stop yawning, sneezing. Seem to work. Sharn initiates notes. A scrap of parchment covered in desperate scrawled guesswork. If the rumors are true, the answer lies within the pages of these books, and must do. A hidden way to become first among all dark justiciers? How can I not pursue such a prize? It does not matter if I was not commanded to walk this path. Lady Shar will surely admire my cunning and tenacity. I will scour every page, devour every word. I must find this relic. I must win a place at her right hand. Well, uh, clearly that didn't get you anywhere because you are now a skeleton sitting in a chair. A trap, just as I expected. <laughs> Be careful. There are traps about. It keeps giving me, or it keeps popping up with hold monster scrolls. And, uh, that's kind of worrying. Put that back on. creature and attaches consciousness to your own it will follow and fight for you as an ally that might actually come in handy once I get down to the mind player colony that's curious oh. teachings of loss oblivion Emptiness is a holy slate, a holy state, one to be pursued and admired. To devoid oneself of all feeling, all attachment, is to approach the purity of Lady Shard's embrace. We each must struggle in our own way to turn from the temptations of light and life. Remember that all those failed comforts will betray you in the end. Only the sacred nothingness will endure. What can Simon 
the start. What is that? Oh. What's inside? Okay. Hmm. Oh! The wielder has a plus one bonus to saving throws against spells. While obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Constitution saving throws plus one. Eh. Eh. How? Greetings. I didn't want to talk to you. I am ready. Lady Shah bid me to wield. Okay. Oh my gosh, that freaking sneeze messed me up. Now my nose is all messed up. Please, you'll better get on the thing. so annoying so tedious I should be able to just open this open my inventory Ugh. and double click it and it should go in there but it doesn't find the relic the path to the inner sanctum is open the relic lies just ahead Some rests better than none. Sir, you spill the blood of Saluna and rise a warrior of Shah. Find the night song. Drew the night song from the Gauntlet of Shar. We found a plaque disclosing the fact that 
that night song isn't a relic. She's a woman. Kate should somehow mixed up in the business of Catholics and vulnerability. This must be where initiates undertook their final preparations. The end is near. You show great potential. Do you know? Deliver the night mother's mercy upon her enemies. Trust your secrets to the night. Shroud yourself in blackest night. <laughs> if Shar allows it, use this spear to kill Night Song. here Charles Grace, did we even make it this far? <gasps> oh, I'm so tempted to do that. I'm gonna do it. She might hate me for this. You motherfucker, I hate you, Guidance. You can suck it. Oh, now you give me a three. You feel your mind slip into shadow hearts. But you are not the only one present. There is another, ancient, commanding, rendered from purest darkness. Take my spear, step forward, and strike down the Saloonite. As you command, Night Singer. Now go. Room my blade with moon. Oh, she disapproves. I think she would. Companion. They pry in your thoughts. That wasn't for you to hear. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Yes, you could have. Don't pretend otherwise. I deserve to know what I'm getting myself into. It's simple. My Lady Shah demands a sacrifice. One life. Not that it matters, but her reward aligns with your own interests. All right, fine. Let's move on. Just remember what I said. Let me do what I need to. I'm sure she does. Was that five disapproval for that? <laughs> it was only one. <laughs> she doesn't even care, bro. And I've never heard that before, so. Still breathing, despite everything. It is what it is. Party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. That's the truth, bro. Sure you want to proceed. Depending on your choices, the state of the region could change and some active quests may become unavailable. 
I'm pretty- hold on. Hold on! Every time it shows that, I doubt myself. Rescue the Grand Duke, lift the Shadow Curse, find Zevler, find Mole. Help Shadowheart finally become a Drag Justicier. Okay, yes. Okay, that's the only one that's actively still going that could change, but that's fine because that's how I want it to be anyway. Your party is good. Yes, I do wish to proceed. <laughs> Wasn't there supposed to be an animation? There's supposed to be an animation of them stepping into the pool. But apparently I didn't want to show it. Lady Shah. I can feel her all around. This is her domain. This, this is the Shadow Fell. You did well. Better than I would have credited you with. Now. Hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. the way to this place, not you. Why shouldn't I just kill you instead of letting you interfere? Raise one finger to me, and I'd sunder you like lightning would a rotten oak. Now, enough dullard questions. Follow me. Ah, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze and it won't. I feel lighter. I'm burdened. As if the softest push could send me drifting away. Oh, complete rescue the Druid Halson. That should have been completed five years ago. What? I don't get it. Why is it not showing up? Oh, there it is. We left the area without seeing if the druid house and could, could help us. What do you mean? What do you mean? I literally helped him with the shadow curse. What the fuck is going on in this journal? Okay. Not only did I see the druid house and needed help, you know what happened? I bet it bugged out because my initial choice was that um, I wasn't gonna help him and then I told him that I was. And it probably bugged out because the quests in this game bug out. I'm not Make even trying to talk useful. to you. Shut up, Lazel. But, um, probably bugged out because the slightest choice that doesn't go exactly how the quest wants to go just absolutely breaks it in the journal. Just a little bit further. See my actions, Lady Shah. Hear my words of faith.
right. Um, where am I going? Hold on, where am I going? <laughs> This way? Oh. What's hiding here? I haven't emptied my heart of faucets. I will say this shadow fell design so cool love the big chains and stuff I swear if I accidentally click on Lazelle one more time I'm gonna murder her Directly to my heart. That ain't me, bro. I invite you. Keep more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time, and you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aileen. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorne, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. Catherick. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thorne. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. Wait, the nice song is a person? Person? Please. You insult her. You insult me. Aelin is so much more than that. She is an Asimar. Asimar! Bound to a soul cage of my creation. And lending her immortal strength to General Thorne. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar. For maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin. Or I'll take it away from you again. And you, no more questions, no more interference. But she's the reason Catherick Thorman's invulnerable. You're not taking her. Leave or you're a dead man. Dead man? You haven't been paying attention, have you? Perhaps I'll revive your carcass and add you to my retinue. Then you'll have all the time in the world to think on your mistakes. No, no, no.
See here. Turn on dead or sphere guardians. Here, can I? Mm, that's as far as I can go. Fudge it. Frost works so well every damn time. I hate it. Holy shit. 
shit. So, should work. I like the um, cloud kill is ruining her. Whatever. Cloud kill is ruining her. Her thing. So can't do that. But well, that's cool. so much. She can really even do anything. Oh, yes, she can.
never mind. Oh, there goes a the starion. Ha ha! Oh, there goes Shadow Heart. Of course, up until the last moment, he's gonna keep his concentration. Fuck you! Kill the necromancer. Well, that was fun. Gonna do that. Rambling notes in a spidery jagged hand fill the volume. They speak of a soul cage binding the life force of one to the one of one to that of another. A crude drawing shows two figures side by side. The one on the left appears to have a dagger protruding from his chest, while the one on the right has a corresponding wound in its own chest. Shocked at how well that went. I'm gonna be completely honest. This fight has always been a nightmare for me. I got so. See what that says. Pierce the moon. Pierce the moon. Is there anything else? breath. <laughs> Pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadow Heart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. 
Choose your own way, Shadowheart. You cannot allow your goddess to control you. Cannot allow? This is my mistress's will, my life's purpose. No, it's not. Your life is whatever you make it. Don't give up on yourself. My lord, there's no way in hell. Oh no. I'm gonna try. No. Nope. <laughs> We try one more time. Nope. <laughs> if I have to step over your corpse to fulfill what Lady Shah asks of me, so be it. Your choice. What? This is wrong, but I can't afford to lose you. Do what you must. Oh my. Can I please have my sound back? This is really bad not having sound for this whole situation. Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from... I sense more What the fudge is happening? I... What do you think? Well, 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 what what's that I a do? sense? A spear intended for my heart, empowered by a goddess eye, empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you, a lost child frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart, your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Ooh. This is your choice. I can't make it for you. That's my girl! I... I can't believe I just did them. Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. Sorry, I'm 
close together back there. <laughs> Gosh, I've seen this scene so many times and it still gives me chills. It's so good. given me a great gift, little worry. Don't you find it also curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? Hell yeah! Ready for what? To kill Catherick Thor. Um... We're gonna have to wait a day for that. Leave. Lady Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. All right, let's get out of here. I'm not sure there's a place that's far enough away for me to go. Lady Shah must be angry. But there's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadow Fell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Catherick Thorne. <laughs> this little place. Moonlight Globe. Um. But. Powerful ally. Well chosen, Shadowheart. <laughs> With her free, Catherick is exposed. We only have to strike. Hell yeah. But first we go night night. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This, this is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me, punished me for failing her. 
I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught, abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. If it's any consolation, I think you did the right thing. You're lucky to have such confidence. Me. I think the full price of what I've done has yet to reveal itself. I'm a target to Lady Shah's followers now. Night song promises. Which is funny because nobody actually goes myself. after her. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethric Thorne. All I can do is help hasten his demise and hope that answers soon follow. How are you feeling? Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. Night song. She mentioned your fear of wolves, just like you shared with me. That's no coincidence. That's not the first time you've made such a leap. But. Perhaps there's more to it than I know. Then I've been right every time. Or would care to admit. Let me tell you. My song will be able to give you answers when the time comes. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. Of course you do. My energy wanes. I know, I know. I'm ready for bedtime too. from enemies to besties. I love that for them. Always at your side. Poor Shadowheart. The gods are nothing if not vindictive in their vengeance. Man, he understands that. Faster. 
car the heck. I hate seeing Shadow Heart suffer like this. All for doing the right thing. It's up to us to look after her now. If she needs a rest, we carry her. If she needs a hand, she has ours. If she needs ears, we've got four between us. Whatever she needs. <laughs> She's so supportive. I love her. Absolute angel. Shah called Shadow Heart nothing. But I know better than that. She is something. She is worthy. She is strong. She is Shadow Heart. Aww. Nothing can take the her from her. Not even a goddess. I love these two. I suppose it was only a matter of time until Shah took vengeance. For the Lady of Loss, she does not like losing. So real. What do you tend to do about Kazador's ritual? Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Kazador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Boulder's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. It risks exposure. Raphael's playing a dangerous game, giving you Mephistof Mephistopheles secrets. Mephistopheles is one of the Lords of the Nine Hells. Raphael is not going to let any ire be tracked back to him. Perhaps Raphael even will gain from setting us on this course, who can say? All I know is I need to unravel the secrets around Cazador's ritual. And I can only do that in Baldur's Gate. Won't be there before long. afraid of everyone besides you who he ought to fear most you could do so much better master
Okay, hold on. Um, so afraid of everyone besides you who got to fear him most. You could do so much better. Get away from him. I won't lay so much as a talon on him. I wouldn't rob you of that delight. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. I will. I love him. No, it cannot be. We all kill what we love most. In time. You like him for more than his looks, but he will never believe that. Why not make him a pretty corpse? <laughs> We are indomitable to together. You underestimate us. You are wrong to consider another your equal. It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little Moon Maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I will save him, whatever it takes. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet master. Your companion rests blissfully, without a fear in the world. As your hand approaches his body, it wavers. It longs to close around his throat. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I shouldn't have used all my... Okay. I shouldn't have used all my inspiration with Shadowheart. Well, hello. Looking for a cuddle? Oh, you got it. Although, you don't look entirely... yourself. What's going on in that head of yours? You're in a lot of danger. We need to act fast. All right. Talk quickly, then. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. The beast that killed Ophira will call again. My possessed mind will kill you. <laughs> I'd rather be the only dark power inside your body, if it's all the same to you. You're welcome to try and kill me, of course, but I don't die easily these days. You could have talked to me before things got murderously bad, you know. We are technically in this together. It certainly puts the death of dear, sweet Alfira into some perspective. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. Oh boy! You are not yourself. All control is gone. This thing won't have you. It won't win. 
Resist and try to express understanding. Screw it, I'm using the elixir. Oh no. Oh no. Awesome. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. Your jaw convulses, and you almost bite off your own tongue. Oh. I will scoop out those watchful eyes and toss them to the dogs. You're cute, you know. In another life, we might have been friends. Your hands are raw and bloody as every inkling of your urge yearns you to tear your bindings. Easy now, darling. You've got this. And I've got you. I want to express my gratitude. No! Every single dude. This happened with Telessa too. This is so sad. It's actually kind of fitting for, for Ilvir though. You cannot talk. Your blood will clap for, your blood will clap for me like liquid rubies. A little late, but good effort. Mm -hmm. Now just relax. Dawn will be here soon. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. Once again, inhabit your own mind. I felt for the bard, seeing you like that. Poor Alfera never stood a chance, did she? Now that you're back with us, we need to have a talk. Recount your urges, holding your past life responsible. If anyone understands an internal voice forcing your hand, I do. But that's not who we are now. We make our own choices. And you made the right one last night. You're not alone in this. None of us are. We can even compare notes if you like. It's really all right? Well, no, you tried to kill me. Of course, it's not all right, but nothing is ruined either. After all, what's a little attempted murder between friends? But whatever this is, you will get through it. And I'll be here to make sure you do. Anyway, it's a brand new day. I'm sure we'll find lots of people for you to kill. <laughs> That's what I mean, like, this is so perfect to be a Dark Urge romancing a star in. Because he just gets it. And also, what better way to tell a story than by having the person that you love most also hope you become a better person? Well, well, as you both become better people. It's just so good. I love it. Thank you for not killing me the other night. I Sorry. Right now, or is today a I, I will wed you the dead day of blood like blooming over your white curls kind of day. day. Uh, I'm so worried about you. What if I get possessed again? I'm also worried about me, but I seem to somehow be worried about you more. <laughs> you give me something to care for, and that's worth the peril. <laughs> okay. I don't want to ask him about Casador just yet. Um, I don't think anybody else will have anything. Glad to see we all made it oh, through the night okay. intact. A promising sign that we may be able to curb those urges of yours. Now, as the saying goes, what's left undone should be left unspoken. Is there some lighter subject you wish to discuss? 
in there. That's like my favorite scene is the resist urge scene. It's so good. I know you have your personal demons to contend with. But if I didn't make it clear before, I think you can beat this. Just don't give in. And seek help if you need it. You wanted something? Oh. About what happened? About your affliction? I know you're sorry. And I know you're probably afraid it'll happen again. Absolutely. I'll look after myself. You look after you. If we each do our part, we'll both be all right. I love Carlag. She's so supportive. I see the hunger in your eyes. And I see how it worries you. Damn it. It worries me too. But you are stronger than the hunger. I hate that it's so on its helmet. You will resist. I'm sure of it. Thank you, Will. Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. Hi, Scratchy. I almost killed the love of my life last night. <laughs> Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. I would never hurt you, Scratch. My track record with animals is horrendous, but Scratch and, and the little bear here never lay a finger on them. <laughs> Oh. You are worried about this killing urge. I can see it. I will try to help you resist. But spill a single drop of my blood, and yours will flow in a gusher. Would have liked a little bit of words of encouragement, Lazel, but I expect nothing less from you. The fact that you expressed worry about Shadowheart last night was good enough for me. <laughs> I don't remember if Halston has anything to say or not. Remember, yeah. whatever evil is trying to control you, I know you are stronger. Resist. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if, I wonder if Withers has anything to say. I don't remember. I don't think he does. Thy wheel nope. of fate turns ever to the He just has his banger line. Dost thou require a new ally? No. <laughs> I guess I can take care of myself. I mean, I've gotten this far. Okay. Well. All right, is everybody ready for the worst fights in the well, I'm not gonna say in this game But one of the worst fights in this game <laughs> Okay Fistular. Oh, fist for here. No! Harper Kelly! Miss Greta. Dude, all the fists died. Taking on a tower with no siege engines. We got this. It'll be fine. Dude, literally all of the fists died. <laughs> there we go. 
Unshackled from shadows. Ah, <laughs> Salem. She will rise in moonlit glory and carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop, and the first line of defense are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy, and if we wait too long, Catherick will gather his strength and retaliate. For now, though, he's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. This is it. The spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed? I reap every soul in this tower until we are the last creatures standing. <laughs> say it we reap every soul in this tower until we are the last creatures standing ha, sounds like something my scimitars would say they'll strike true see to it you'll do the same at the ready harpers in this light there will be victory in this light we will avenge the fallen The time has come. Gatherick will taste of death at last. I'm trying to think. Should I try and go up the main door this time? Because usually I go the side way and do sneak attack, which nothing says I can't sneak attack. Starion. Ready? It's time to take the fight to them. Sorry, my love. Please Breath don't in. step in the holy fire. Uh. Don't mind if I do. Dude, get out of the damn fire! Light in the sky. Light at last. She's very pretty. Let's have a look. My blade. Last. We wash our weapons in absolute blood. That's right, baby girl. I like this bloodlust look on you. Very flattering. Hey, hey! Watch yourself, sir. Even now, at the cusp, you waste your breath on prattle. <laughs> Starion is like so turned on by bloodlust and bloodletting. It's crazy. <laughs> These cult nutters don't die easy. Who are you? We've lost a few of ours already. I don't know who you are, but you're very pretty. Finally on the front foot. Let's see how they like being turned out of their beds. That's right. I have a feeling like every single one of these guys are gonna die. With Jahira to lead us, and you bringing light to the shadows, we might just have a chance. Hell yeah. It's a grim task, picking provisions from the dead. But the way I hear it, the fighting's not done yet. You need to resupply. Yes. I want to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Just in case. Oh, I forgot about that! I'm going to use it on Catherick. I'm going to get that shadow heart. Um, those creatures that are illuminated. Start by construction. No. Oops, not that. I'm gonna send these to camp for now. I don't know. I don't think anybody in my party is proficient in hand crossbows. Wait, it's Shadowheart's proficient in them. But it's less than the crossbow that she has right now, I'm pretty sure. Shine to glow and light. Mm. 
I'm gonna keep the blood of Lathander for. Well, I don't know. What's that? Struck a foe, conjured illusory swarm of moon pale butterflies, granting an advantage on attacks against the target. Deal additional psychic damage equal to your proficiency bonus. When, you, when the target moves away from your illusion, it takes one to six psychic damage. Huh. Um, gosh, this is the worst part, is not knowing which weapon to go with, because I love the blood of Lysander, but it doesn't do as much damage as the glaive. I'm trying to think, though. Yeah, I'll keep the blood of Lysander for now, because there's going to be a lot of undead in this fight. At least once you get to the rooftop, there are. So... I'm gonna keep the light of the or the blood of Lysander. Um, so that, so that, that. Where cannot be blinded. I'm trying to think. I don't know if that's an issue. I don't think so. Please do. I'm not gonna sell it just yet. Um, that light in the sky. <laughs> I almost feel bad for Catherick, knowing what's coming for him. That thing that caught a trail for us. I almost forgot what true light looked like. Okay. Um. Let the words of Alondo ring true. Okay. After all you've done, I didn't save. Oh no, I didn't me. save. You have <laughs> General Thorn. You have betrayed our God. Fuck your God. And for what? These Harpers. Moonrise will be their tomb, and in death, you will all serve the Absolute. I've looked forward to killing you since the moment we met. You hid it well. I thought you'd be another notch on my bedpost. But instead, I'll make a trophy of your bones. Boys, make them bleed. Oh, you just wait, girly. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> Why 
Why did we get skipped? Why did we get skipped? Hello? Oh, Jihira coming in with the ice, the ice storm. Love that for you. <laughs> Dumbass. Um, let's see here. 59. Let's do. When you crit, you get like 50 damage, so not good, Shadowheart. Ah, sh Nikes. Oh, damn, Jahira. There we go. That's the crits we love to see. Think you will. Slow motion or come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, did you hear it's not looking good? What is she? Oh, she's off balance. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at her body. 
body. <laughs> Let's do this. Nice. <laughs> Dude, we like need to work our way in. We're all con like in a group right there. Oh my. I was about to say, the disadvantage is really, really getting to him. What the? Who the hell are you guys? Oh, they came from the main area. Who's got the hunger pattern going? Is this guy? Oh no! Well, we lost one. Guardians here. I don't like that. How does that provoke an attack of, top of opportunity? Um, which one's the one that has this hunger had our still up? It is. Thank you. 
Lord. to happen. Um. Nice. Okay. Fail to see what that... Oh, is L. Disadvantage, I guess. And miss. for it, but 
she did it though. start chewing on people's legs to be so real is it once per short rest that I get to do this yes bruh because it's a darkness ah! he's useless I'm pissed Can't do jack. I won't give in. May the gods take you first. Oh. Fuck. Oh, okay. I was about to say. have any more channel divinities. in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Whew, that was a fun fight. We only lost like a couple of the Harpers. I'm glad because usually it's like terrible. <laughs> that actually went really well. I'm proud of us team, that was great. Harper.
Bear's absolute brand. Shield bash. Fuck shield bash. Argument solver. Initiative rolls and advantage on perception ability checks. Make an attack or as a reaction, you make it with advantage. Nah. We actually, we got really lost. We lost, lost four Harpers. I'm proud of us, y'all. That was a hard fight. And I struggled with it a lot. Oh. Well, hello. There is work to do. I've gotten to the point where I'm just Nothing like, eh. I don't really care about the parasite stuff. Cause like, uh, most of the parasite stuff really isn't that great. And, um, And the only time that it gets better is once you get to... Whatever, um... What the hell am I trying to say? Once you get the... Once you get to partial lithid, and I don't like being partial with it, so here we stand in the lion's den. Light on my feet. But the oh, lions that's not what I'm doing. You and I. As long as we hold this floor, the tower is ours. I'll stay here. Ensure no one comes up or down without a scimitar welcome. <laughs> You're close now. A final audience with Ketherick Thorm awaits. I'd attack to Hannah Venby. Perhaps he'd like to be there for that finale. Ha! <laughs> Keen eye. I suppose I could be persuaded. Then consider yourself persuaded. Fair enough. The time has come. Gather a cool taste of death at last. Let's go! We got you here! Let's go, boys. Man, I only saved- I only quick saved twice during that fight, and once was at the beginning- the beginning of the fight. Is not, not doing it for me. Um. Oh, she doesn't have any more wild shapes. Um, that's unfortunate. Girl, 
a what? Silly. Shadowheart. A stupid door, I swear. What do you mean path is interrupted? That's the point of jumping. Has ruined it. Is the same old song. Damn it. Stop bowing, chilling her. Scourge. Glory of the Absolute. 
Now come we in reverence before the absolute and her true souls, rejoicing in the three glories of belonging and reveling in the requital, for deeds duly done in the absolute's name. Glory the first is our purpose, filling us with determination to bring to all mortals the joy of reverence to the absolute. Glory the second to our obedience, the bliss of knowing that we exalt ourselves and we surrender our wills to the absolute's commands. Glory the third is our dominion, for obedience to the absolute places us above all other mortals, and it is righteous to command them. And when through our obedience we have achieved dominion, the absolute grants us permission for requital, rever reverie without restraint to express our joy and pride in the absolute services. Scroll of speak with Zed. Huh? There's no time to waste. Like that. Why do they look sad? <laughs> You're mortal again, Thorm. I've come to finish you. Impossible. You are a thrall. A slave. You serve the absolute. You serve me. Godmaster that suits you, it seems. Helen, <laughs> the thief. You stole Isabel from me, and now you think you'll take my life in the bargain? You dare to speak her name. After your crimes innumerable, you would evoke her before me! Enough. This ends here and now. At last. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight at our side. Let's go. Okay.
shit! Let's see here. Do anything shocking. Enough. My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. Where'd you hear I go? Um, I'm glad that Ilvir didn't. Time to pack it in for the day, I think. Um, I'm glad that Ilvir didn't bug because Telesa did. After that fight, she got stuck in a stupid uh, conversation bug. And it sucked so bad. I'm like, really? I already have to do all this shit. And then she gets stuck. So I have to... Um... Probably hurt her. But no. Luckily with that bug, if you just quick save and then reload the quick save, it fixes it. But that just goes to show, this game used to... And it's one of my biggest issues is the fact that the conversations um like bug out or take forever to to start or just straight up don't give you the person that you want for the conversation like what was it with, with the hat the hag with auntie ethel like i was 
Ilver was right there. Why did it default to... I think it was Carlac. Like... <laughs> why are you not automatically defaulting to the character that I am playing for that conversation? Why are you choosing just some random person? It bothers me that you can't switch out who is leading the conversation once you get into the conversation. I hope that's something that they add because it's so freaking annoying. Like, I don't get to choose who goes into the conversation. So why is it that I have to deal with who they choose for for the conversation? Like, why, why am I not given that autonomy? Stamps in the end papers indicate this book was once part of the Library of the High Heralds where they occupied Moonrise Towers. The librarian's summary reads as follows. Very old scholarly treatise about obscure necromantic tomes and codexes, their mystic and arcane locks, and how to unlock and decipher them. At the end, the librarian appended, appended the following note. Urgent request from researcher Ilian Tol, Tol, uh, Ilian Tolth to borrow this book officially denied. Stated casual interest in notorious necromancy of Thay is a clear warning sign that the, his interest in anything is anything but casual. In any event, this isn't even the book he wants. That's the the Tharkia Tharki Codex. over yet. We need to pursue Catherick Song. What in the nine hells is going on? I thought we had him. Nothing to do but follow him and finish the job. <laughs> Everybody else is like down to business. Like we gotta go. We gotta finish him off. And then there's just a star and this confuses all hell and it's like what? <laughs> It's so fitting. We'll never know where those where the the treasure is. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not all that beat up about it. The scroll of her glory. An instruction missive to zealous of the absolute offered an audience. To be seen is to be known, and to be known by her is the most perfect. One must rid one's mind of all veils. Nothing can escape her unseen gaze, so to hold any secrets before her is folly. All you have, every little scratch of your being, belongs to her. In return, you may be offered a fraction of her being, a shard of perfection lodged in your uncomprehending mind. We are true souls, after all, and the truth that our souls hold is hers. Sort the risen? Subjugate the undead with your commands. And ghoulish touch. Else an undead cannot be paralyzed by this attack. Oops. I think that's different from the one that Telesa got. Cause I don't- I think the one that Telesa got kinda sucked.
Okay. Checks, please. Mm, I don't think there's anything there. General will call that a tactical retreat, I'm sure. But you have him on the run. That thing he summoned was illicit. Follow it below and find him before he has a chance to subdue the Night Song again. I can handle this, don't worry. I don't doubt it. But I'd come with you if you'll have me. Do you really think your soldiers can hold out against an entire army? If our luck holds, they won't need to. If it doesn't, well, they are Harpers. Being outnumbered is part of the job. But the sooner we reach Catherick and rob his army of their reason to fight, the better. Do you know what to expect when we find him? Theory and supposition. None of which will help us in the fight to come. Catherick must die. And the Absolute with him. We will work out the details as they rear their ugly heads. Sure. You have numbers okay. enough already, I think. You'll want a small force if you are to finish this quickly. Good hunting. Okay, I think... Hmm... I wonder if I should long rest here? And then go in with both of my short rests. Cause usually I just jump in there and by that point I have like no short rests and stuff. Mm. I think it, mm. I mean, it gives me the reason, or it gives me the option, so... Okay, I don't uh, think anybody has anything to say, and I don't want to mess around. We do a quick short rest and then we call it a day. For a quick long rest. Go bedge. Quick bedge. <sighs> surrenders his find to you. Potion of animal speaking? Thank you! Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. down the hole left by the tentacle that drew Catherick into the darkness. Will you leap after him? Yes. The 
hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. Infections. All of this sitting beneath moonrise. For how long? And how deep does it go? Rejuvenating miasma? What? Animate dead doesn't require a corpse in this area due to a lingering necrotic stench. What does that mean? Defeat Catherick Thorn. The butler gave you another chance, kill your darling, but you didn't. You spent the night tied up, but playing out of farce as a wriggling, squirming slug. Humiliating, you could be so much more than that screaming heap. Come back to yourself. Rescue Zarya's. Oh, I didn't even think about that. No, I feel so bad. I should have had Will here for this. I always forget. Man. And I can't switch them out now. Damn it. I'm sorry, Will. We must be ready to confront the Elder Brain. One presides over every gate colony. No problem! And what does this old brain look like? A hovering mass of grey matter, sprouted with lethal tentacles and oozing cerebrospinal fluid. Right. Good. <clears throat> Glad I asked. <laughs> This is why I love having Lisa on the party because she has such good banter with Shadowheart and Nostarian. Tread carefully. We are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That's a big skeleton. Our telepathic storm has become a tempest. Hey, bud. Dude, these skeletons look massive. <laughs> Pilgrimages to Moonrise ended down here. For you. Oh, thank you. Thank you! You are a good friend! No. No. Rescuer! Rescuer! Hi, Chop. <laughs> no will sparks behind his eyes. His mind has been hollowed out to better echo the commands of the Collective. A cake thrall. The only way to save it is to kill it. You could kill it, end its miserable life of enslavement. Surely that would be the humane thing to do. You could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind for anything that could serve you. What is this place? No, sorry. Here. They become. 
Become what? Part of one mind. Four little feet dancing to same song. With a lurch, you realize he means the intellect devourers. Here, the brains are harvested, made part of the hive mind. But there is one little kitty dances to another song. Same song as you. What did you do to all these people? Chop, chop. Help them. Become. About the little kitty in the cage. Bad kitty. Sings wrong song. Must fix. I'll take the creature with me. It won't disrupt the hive mind anymore. Yes. Yes. Take. Only one song remains. Careful petting. Sticky. You could kill it, and it's mid. You could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind. I need to find your master, Catherine. Mind. Monster. No. Down deep. One of three. One. Why don't I send you to join you all these creatures? Why don't I send you to join all these creatures you butchered? <sighs> yes. Yes. Please. Oh uh, no. Hey, quit walking away. You want me to send you to join them? blood. The illithids take what's useful and discard the rest. What takes a fight? Not for long. Time for jump. We are critting the hell out of these things right now. Should he just do? Thirteen thirty-four six. <laughs> he just 
just did like like 50 damage to that one intellect of our cutting to the chase there we go easy enough I don't want that I don't want brain we're brain How am I missing it? Where's it at? Oh! Ew! It's a parasite! I don't want it! <laughs> Toy block. Prepare the march. My chosen gather below. An offering from Moonrise Towers. Oh, whoa! Whoa! That's like a window. That's so weird. Ooh, I don't like Defend. that. Faithful. We I don't like that. It's icky. List of rules. A list written with the painstaking care of a child. Certain entries are underlined as if for memorization. Teacher's rules. Ride in teacher's car away from the soldiers. Don't look the guide in the eyes. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. A, a series of dots and broken lines, entries in a language you cannot read, and yet you sense their meaning nonetheless. A blur of noise and pain filtered through a newly born high, high mind, staggered fresh from the spawning pool. The elder wakes, the elder bursts anew. But all is not right. Down in the darkness where the elder stirs, something else moves, too. Three shining lights that taste of pain, a series of dots and broken lines, entries in a language you cannot read, and yet you sense their meaning nonetheless. A blare of noise and pain. Why does it do that? This I can understand a lifted script. Thank you, Tadpole. Oh, that's not worried at all. Students of Dawson Dragon Lines, entries in a language you cannot read and yet you sense their meaning nonetheless. Fractured reports from other colonies scattered throughout the Underdark. One in particular tells of an uprising, slaves breaking free from their fighting pits to swarm over the watching the lithids. A series of doubts and broken lines. Yeah. I don't know why it does that. That's so annoying. Descend. Hmm. Prepare. Hmm. I have never done this fight before, so surely everything goes well. <laughs> 
Okay. Actually, oh, they only have 32 health. I didn't like the, the the death shepherd there. I didn't like you. <laughs> oh hey, everybody else is hiding still. I want to walk right here. That's all the further I want to walk. Well, clearly they're not doing anything, so maybe skip ahead. This is another thing that annoys me. 
Silly, silly. Holy shit, Lazel. This is some shit for damage.
Oh my lord. Partners go down together. That made it better, at least. Can't give up now. There. This was not worth it. Oh, now it decides it's gonna work. What if I do this? There we go. What is happening? If I do hit this. The chosen are my heart. 
And you, my many friends. Oh, nothing. Gonna go destroy a wall. Of many halls, one. Hello? Dude, yeah, these skeletons are just like abnormally big. I feel glorious. What the hell? Steeped in bliss. Seized by great joy, affected entity is more energized and also more mentally compliant. Entity has advantage on physical checks and disadvantage on mental saving throws. Entity is also vulnerable to psychic damage. What the hell? Black skinned head. Empty vessel. Nothing more. Lending voice to Elder Law. What the hell? I don't know what I just took, but it's fine, I'm sure. Let's do the flash of Nautiloids, winding a dark void. A great dark void. One mind with one purpose, moving in concert through the darkness between planes. The design and action before the slave mines arose and ruined it all. A final mournful entry, carrying with it a vast hollow filling feeling of grief, the colony in decline, the elder starving, falling dormant to preserve its strength and lie in wait for some salvation to come. Balthazar's notes. Experimental notes written in Balthazar's precise hand. His obvious deficiencies aside, it cannot be denied that young Gortash has the mind of a scientist. Before his latest invention, the Elizabeth Library was no more than rows of brains swimming in the cerebral slop. With this device, we no longer need psionic power to access the memories contained within, only to insert the subject and speak to it directly. I do wish he were not so eager in testing the device on more recent subjects of his own, however, of his own, of his own however, nor in leaving their skull shaping scattered along my workbench. for forgiveness forgive me father for i cannot help but admire the chosen of your sworn foe and for gortash's genius will take us far but fear not those of bane always fall to the same folly they cannot see the beauty of obliteration the absolute hoax will garner false love from new slaves but once i have built a large enough army i will use our hold upon the absolute slaves to begin this vile world's end I can see the path through Gortash's brilliant plan. Gortash Cuthric and I will seize the nether raised relics that control the crown, and then use the crown to command the elithid grand design. The dead three age old foes and age old foes or dire patrons will be bosom friends for a time. Father, you created me to be the last soul alive. When the time is right and my power is, is assured, I will slaughter Gortash and Cuthric upon your altar, where I myself hope to die when the world itself is gasping its last. At the end of this all, Father, there will be not a single creature living. Everyone will die. Everyone will die for you. I will make you proud. Note abandoned at the bottom of the page in a different hand. Ha! Lauren must write about her sibling. Both. What? Lauren was right about her sibling. What does that mean?
what goes in here? I bet it's a head. It's seen as when he's steeped in blitz condition, resonant stones, heightened emotion of those who stand within their radius. Marvelousness fades. Nothing ever lasts, I suppose. What? What are you talking about, my love? memory, speech, reason. the mind needs you to it do. It is incomplete. It yearns to connect, but needs you to guide the process, linking each part of your mind to its life. Of many hearts. Consult glows as you approach. The mind still... Wait. 
right, so which one? Memory. second. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. <laughs> um, so from here, go here, go here, go here. Ma, Ma, stand. Welcome. Hold on a second. So speech, reason, reason's good. Memory. So speech needs to go over on this side? I'm so confused. Mind passively awaits your Okay. Okay. Um so emotion Emotion is down there, so Speech needs to go. Oh, wait.
memory. Welcome back, Master. Uh, 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 uh. That should do it. Time to see what's back there. Yeah! Holy. That was a brain teaser if I've ever seen one. Circlet of mental anguish? Dude, my eyes hurt for staring at my screen so intently. I don't think I blinked the whole time I was doing that. When an enemy fails a charisma intelligence or wisdom saving throw against one of your spells at cantrips, you gain one to four hit points. When you deal psychic damage, you also inflict mental fatigue. With NGC, it's minus one penalty to wisdom intelligence and charisma saving throws for every turn remaining. When it fails, a wisdom intelligence or charisma saving throw while having five or more turns of this condition remaining, the entity takes one to four psychic damage and is no longer mentally fatigued. The moment comes. Wait, this would actually be really good for Lazel because of her sword. You see you saving throw the foe that cause yeah. Ooh. Then what gloves does she have? Ah, oh, the poison. When you deal psychic damage, you also inflict mental fatigue for two turns. And then Oh wait. Oh no no no. So actually that would be... I actually don't know who to give that to. And what does mental fatigue do again? It has minus one penalty to wisdom, intelligence, and charisma saving throws for every turn. When it fails the wisdom, intelligence, or charisma saving throw, while having five or more turns of this condition remaining, the entity takes one to four psychic damage and is no longer mentally fatigued. Yeah, those gloves were like made for Lazel with the sword. From the beginning of the game. Your tadpole echoes, not with presence but memory, tinged with loss. The grand design, order, Taken, 
just as suddenly, pain and memory are gone, leaving only stone once more. The grand design. It is every Gith Yankee's duty to ensure the Gith Empire is never reborn. The grand design. The restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire. The dream of all Illithids. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave this behind. There we go. That was actually, that's really cool. I've never been there before. Yeah, you stay dead, you bastards. Okay, um, it's not that. Okay, that goes down. And that goes there. Mm -hmm. I'll go to that place last. Maybe. If my game doesn't decide to completely freeze. This is incredible. I love when my computer does this. civilians side by side this must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap there's a war okay there's some man flare that's a war my I swear. Stupid. Holy shit. All this for two people? We'll be right back.
Okay. Your tadpole forms a telepathic connection with the device, and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. Every mind flare in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet a lithid, terrified, desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. Gate machinery, cold as the sea of night, alien as time to the astral plane. Avert your eyes, close your mind. Oh, okay. Mind flares are there. There's four mind flares. Pa! That's nothing. scared of the inflect and intellect of ours at all. Oh, what happened there? Holy shit, Zebler! 
I didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first, please, the others, the ambush. Tell me they survived. Some. Others ended up in a cell in Moonrise. That's on you. Somehow, I suspect it's worse even than you imagine. Likely you heard that I broke, or froze, or some other lie kinder than the truth. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard her, their false god, whispering promises in my mind. I would be a paladin again, with a god's purpose, a god's power. Everything I needed to protect my people. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought and ran and died around me while I imagined myself their savior. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the Absolute. For a moment, I welcomed it. For a moment, until you realized your reward would be a tadpole. Until I realized what I'd done. Perhaps I fought. I don't recall. Either way, I was deemed unworthy of becoming a true soul. I won't make excuses. I can't make amends. But I know something of what you came to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. Ketherick is below. He thinks you're no longer a menace descend and show him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. Find your own people. They need you. They have you. Go, my friend. Please, let me do this much. If this bitch turns around and dies, so help me. I'm beginning to think I should have stayed in that pod. In there, it only smelled like me. Is there any news about Duke Ravenguard? Did he get out alive? No. Tell by your expression. <laughs> Gonna have to fall on my sword, aren't I? to thank you. <gasps> Yeeva! I thought I was done for. This is a bleeding shit show. Half my squad's dead, the other half sporting tentacles. We came here to rescue Duke Ravenguard. But we didn't stand a chance. Holy shit. Did you see the Duke? Yeah. He was in one of the pods. The cultists took him away. He was still human, and still trying to put up a fight. Wow. Holy shit, we're level 10. 
<laughs> You're immune to poison damage and can't be poisoned or affected by disease. Let's go. Oh, he gets a feet. I think there was something I wanted to give him, but I don't remember what it was. I guess dual wielder. Divine intervention. Holy. I have never been level 10 going into the Catholic fight. It's freaking wild. Brine pools, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. That's not a good sign. This pond has a different air to its chitinous cavern. Dust and dirt are gathered on the inside. It's broken beyond repair, seemingly by a blunt impact, as if whoever was inside threw themselves against it in an effort to break out. Your brain hurls an image towards you, your own head, blood gushing down in front of your eyes. Um... Oh, okay. <laughs> Banging your fists on a 
chamber until half your fingers were broken. How long inside? Days? Months? Lifetimes? The parasite was inserted into your head and your body crammed into a pod long before you were moved to the Nautiloid. A laughing woman, taunting you. She betrayed you. Who was she? Perhaps even this very pod was your prison. Where were you first captured? It's impossible to remember. Huh. We're in decidedly unfamiliar territory now. Keep up the pressure and stay alert. We need to find Thorn. This place brings back the worst memories. It's like being kidnapped all over again. Oh. A gay colony. Or something close to it. You'll find no place more repellent in all the plains. That pod. Is that Mazora inside? Man, I feel so bad that Will's not here for this. By Grazit's cock, it's about time you came. <laughs> Figures. All that talk about Zarid's asset. I should have known you were lying. Oh, perish the thought. Every word was nothing less than true. Now, enough sniffing around and get me out of this thing. Do it, and I'll let Will off his leash. A devil always keeps her promises. Your eyes turn to the control panel next to the pod. It has two devices marked with illithid symbols. The controls are open to your tadpole's command. To your authority. The symbol's meaning comes into focus. Annihilate. You recognize the marking from the Nautiloid. An illithid symbol meaning unleash. Hold on, I want to see what happens if you hit Annihilate. Hells! What's happening? What have you... Your heart burns red hot. Then goes hollow. A presence disappears from your mind. The Hells have taken will as their own. Oh! He's lost. <laughs> To the fires of Avernus. Hills! They've taken the blade to his final frontier. <laughs> That's crazy! They've taken the blade to his final frontier. <laughs> You recognize the marking from the Nautiloid, an illithid symbol meaning unleash. Good work. I'd give you a gold star, but I'm fresh out. As for the pact, <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. If the Soul Binder consents to separation, she will release the Soul Bearer from all obligation within six months. 
Six months until he's free. You little rat. Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. <laughs> to the hells with your conditions. Sever wheels packed now, or I'll sever your head. Not going to happen. But I do like your spunk. Right. I'm out of here. I need a long bath. I'll leave you to your very serious business. But don't you fret. If you survive this place, I'll find you. The pup will be needing me. Count on it. Oh, and ask Will how we met. I've loosened his tongue. It's real cracker of a tale. <laughs> Ta-ta. I wish she had added more flair to the ta-ta. Like the ta-ta. Like that would be, uh, she has potential to be so sassy about it. A parasite. Take it. It might be useful. I have so many parasites already, bro. I don't know what to do with them all. Suspended Saramorphosis. Dictated to scribe Yonthus by Enver Gorta. En Enver Gortash. Saramorphosis, a lipid larval transformation of a host, humanoid into a mind flare, typically occurs in less than a 10 day after infection, but the tadpoles laid by our captive elder brain are enhanced due to the powerful netherese magic of the crown of Karsus. Our enhanced, ta enhanced tadpoles induce in their hosts a sort of suspended seramorphosis, a state in which the host becomes susceptible to telepathic influence and even coercion from the absolute, our elder brain. For our purposes, there are two key aspects to this influence. First, the con oh First, the conversion of the host into a mental lackey of the absolute occurs entirely without the host awareness. Its servility feels comfortable and natural, and is never consciously questioned. Second, the servile state persists, even when the host is far beyond the usual range of an elder brain psionic control. This phenomenon is spectacularly useful, given our ambitions. <laughs> Hurry now. The city calls out for salvation. The chosen are my heart. She's, she's going to put one in me any day. Cressa, who was initiated the very same hour as I, all those years ago. She's going to put a parasite in my ear when I sleep. Can't bear to be without a pet to experiment on. Needs to have a- oh. Lashes. Balthazar let one of his walking carcasses lapse from his control. Let's ferry them back. Wait! By the bone lord. It's you! I thought I'd never see you again. I wanted to keep you for myself, but they shipped you away. Keep me? What did you do to me? You talk! And you are aware. How is that possible? Oh. But what an arresting voice you have. You're not supposed to be here, special one. That's not right. But I don't want to damage you. You were my very first, after all. I learned everything about the parasites from you. I remember finding you close to death. Beaten black and blue on the floor of this sanctum. It must have been a few hours after the tadpole was placed in your skull. How you got here was a total mystery. But I stitched you up just enough to keep you alive, then placed you within your crib. Wait. 
I kept you as mine, until you were needed by our superiors. We had such a close bond. I opened you up endlessly with my scalpels, and got lost in your insides. Oh my gosh, the look of disgust on all of, of disgust on all of their faces. This is where I was left after someone infected me? I was not behind it. I do not know. But whoever did it, I'm so glad they left you here for me. Truthfully, I'm not surprised to see you found your way back here all by yourself. I always knew you were clever. It has never been the same with another. All the other victims who come here just meekly obey. You thrashed. You fought. You were indomitable. But as special as you are, you shouldn't be swanning around here, acting as if free will is yours again. We're going to kill you, sweet one. But I promise I will stay with you afterwards. Lashes, bring this one back to my table. And prepare my knives for a long night of experiments. Okay, so there's four of them. word his flame mass cure wounds greater restoration hey what's up bud You can't push Lazel.
critical miss. together after whatever caused your head to get in this mess someone else must have attacked you in the midst of whatever you were doing down here this necromancer was a grunt in the scheme of the horrors enacted against you that attacker is the source Trying to remember the attack. In the heart of all these membranes, there was a dagger awaiting you all along. But from who? Is the symbol of the absolute just a symbol of 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 Merkel? Or is it one of the, is it different? I remember in life as country surgeons back in Nashville. We only ever wanted to be the best, to learn how to staunch any mortal wound. How did we get here? Cressa hasn't been herself since her, her pet true soul was shipped out on that nautiloid. I haven't been able to so much as touch her. I find myself growing green at the thought. My own wife revolts me with those experiments. Not really my wife any longer. I thought getting that favorite creature dispatched would bring, ba bring her back to herself, but she pines for that damned feral corpse with aching need. She finds the out I ratted out the are that she was keeping it and got it sent away. The she might kill me. Lives. So, something I am not exactly sure of is... Orin, like, beat Dirge the fuck up. Like, cracked their skull and everything. And the way that they talk about Dirge is that they were basically dead. So... Design. How exactly are they alive well enough to have coherent thought, let alone embark on adventures like this? Because that's what I'm curious about. Or unless it was the parasite, or the tadpole, um... Kind of helped heal them or whatever because that's something i'm not really uh, that's Thank something you. i'm kind of lost on here we go harry henry's journal oh, these oh, slick innards oh, these fluid oh, chambers oh, how long have we been here making thralls i don't want to any longer merkel is drowned out in my head by my own spiral fears the bone lord doesn't want a coward none of this looks real i am in a kraken belly i am turned inside in Inside upside, I am dead. Merkel's great waste always sounded peaceful. Not like this. So by the sounds of it, I actually did these guys a favor. Because they sounded like they didn't even want to be alive anymore. We will take the city. Every soul may. Oh. 
Mistress of Souls research log. Experiments on the first one, day four. Again, I have noted a fluid leakage from the oral cavity, cavity and have ascertained the cause. Due to the unusual method of parasitic insertion, the secretions of the creature within are leaking out, rather than being absorbed by the brain, as we have noted in other thralls. I cannot say why the parasite is evacuating this oil, but it has a scent of garlic we now know indicates it has fed on the host brain's matter itself. Host brain matter itself. I have collected a sample of ear fluid. Day 5. Vivisection day today. Showed no sign of pain as I was unraveling the long intestine, but instead grabbed the organ as if it were a rope, reached to wrap it around my neck as if to strangle me. But all the strength in its, ar in its poor arms is quite gone. Had to thread the guts back into the body. We'll try again another day. What the? How is Dirge alive, dude? That is twisted. Um. Once again, I am taking the long way. It's fine. through this place. Holy... Give her that. You'd think I'd have more sympathy for someone trapped in a pod, but perhaps we should have left Mazora where we found her. You wanted something? Mazora positively drips with passive aggressive condescension. I much prefer straightforward <laughs> condescension. <laughs> It leaves no chance of being misunderstood. <laughs> I love you, Lizzo. Platform's already here. Oh. Bro, not skeletons right next to each other again. I can't go through this. <laughs> not again. Mind builds to a roar. We found it. 
The Absolute is behind this door. Leroy Jenkins, here we go. Oh lord, what am I failing? You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure, like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prism? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from them. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here, if you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. <laughs> His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. <sighs> if the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the Absolute. Whom preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. I'm so glad that they don't show that scene again because it's so gross. <laughs> it's bad enough watching it with now, our characters at the really beginning. Time we, would go. we will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder Gate. We go to prepare the way. Piece of three. Piece together Catherick's allegiances. <laughs> you 
You discovered the old elithid pod that might have been your coffin in the colony. Someone put you there long ago, and must have eventually dragged you out of the nautil- out to the nautilite. The pod was cracked and rank. You were beating every part of your precious body against it, trying to escape. Crest of the Miracle Light Necromancer patched you together. You were a tadpole wreck down in this flesh pit. Nearly dead, half head half caved in. She said you were the first ever tadpole in victim. You're either one in a million unlucky or someone hated those stinking guts of yours to do such filthy work. Bloody vengeance seems appropriate. Well, it's a bit late for that. You convinced Shadowheart to turn her back on Shara's wishes and instead free N- Night Song. Rather than become a dark justice here, Shadowheart would likely instead likely face dire consequences for her actions. I wish that I had Will with me. I didn't even think about it before I came down here. But I should I probably should have had Will with me. Sorry's asset turned out to be Zora herself, and in return for our help, she promised to release Will from his pact, but only after six months had passed. She disappeared again, but not before promising she'd find us soon enough. Pursuit Raven Guard's captors to Baldur's Gate. We found the heart of the Absolute in the bowels of Moonrise Towers, a powerful elder, elder brain controlled by another he's crown of incredible power. Gale was not close enough to detonate the orb. Well, Before we could defeat him, we were interrupted by a John Tentacle that carried Catholic Way and Night Song with him. Free Night Song, she flew across the Shadow Curse Lands to Moonrise Towers, where she intends to fight Catholic Thorm. We saved Zebler, who explained that he let the absolute infiltrate his mind. It's unlikely the thief wins will him back. He'll have to forge his own path now. Main quest defeat Catholic Thorm. one toward death like a moth to light you could have run away absconded with the prism the one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny but the lore of one's destiny is irresistible isn't it perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it a bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. I will reach my own crimson castle and your corpse will pave my path. And what is my place, Catherick? Your place is to die so that I might finally live. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Enough talk. Let's finish this. With pleasure. This pig! The Catholic is invincible, so now this night soul is rotting in his cage!
Let's see here. I'm gonna have Shadow Heart. Um, actually. Poison immunity. Hmm. On my way. I have to get them. On the move. What to do?
Okay. Get Aelin back up. And then... Finish this bitch off. There we go. This is real bad. How is this going so horribly wrong? Disappear. Ooh. Oh, look, it didn't work. It's like shield bash never works or something. Ridiculous, dude. Oh my lord! Uh, this is ridiculous! Yes! What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. <laughs> I am eternal. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, pal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. Let's <laughs> go. 
freaking line, dude. I love this cutscene. So damn cool. The music's awesome. Well. <laughs> no shot, bro. Are you kidding me? Bojo! I have a personal vendetta against Bojill, bro. That, yeah, that one should have been dead to begin with. I'm pissed that it wasn't. They're so dead. Victory awaits. Okay. Um, I have made a mistake. It's Jover. Child, of course. Fuck! What am I supposed to do? I didn't do anything for damage, and I can't even heal them. because they're bone chill. There's literally, we can't get them up because being around him causes bone chill. Like there's quite literally nothing I can do. Oh, and of course the starion can't hit anything. Come on. Revivify them. There. Yay! Actually, you've done us a service, Merkel. Thank you. Shit, dude. Kill Merkel. Ooh, that 
did good damage. Kill the envoy of, the, of Merkel. Kill all members of the Thor fam Thorn family. Ooh, that's cool. I didn't know that she could get inspiration from that. That's a cool thing to get inspiration from.
There's nothing here. Oh, whoa. What's this? The absolute end. Underneath this book concerning the cult of the absolute and the dangers it presents, the scroll of this response to the text. This hastily written drivel is admittedly well intentioned. Its author is clearly facing with with fear of the absolute. The problem is that they conflate the rise of the cult with other things like the heat death of the universe, the resurrection of one-eyed Vecna the Lich, the proliferation of necromantic excess, and even the withering of some imported fruits from Chult. This person needs a glass of water and a lie down. Whoa, the... The references! Vecna! Uh, the fruits from Chult. So good. I love Chult. Great place. Wish I had more importance in lore. <laughs> Dictated describing out this by Inver Vertesh. The grand design is a mind flayer species wide ambition to return to the days of their conquering greatness through an act of sudden mass amorphosis, el giving the Elder Brain an overall command, an implacable army of illithid slave warriors and with which to defeat all their old enemies, human and humanoid, Githyanki and Illithrid. Of course, this is delusional madness, megalomania on a cosmic scale, and I know just how to turn it to our purpose. We're going to help the Mind Flayers enact their grand design, but only in the way that suits us. The Illithids shall have their crusade to enslave, but they will be acting in turn as our slaves, and we shall determine the how, when, and where of their great Illithid outbreak. To be precise, I, Gortash, will determine these things, as commanding the grand, des grand design is clearly a Bainite task. Lord Gortash, the Committee of Concerned Patriots would like to extend an invitation to a formal meeting at the High Hall to discuss plans, short and long term, for the economic livelihood of Baldur's Gate. Tuesday the 12th, noon, a luncheon will be served. May we presume your attendance? Lord Heer Rillen, Committee Chair. Anything else up here? I love that you can go all the way out here, that's so cool. Okay. 
Ulthric Sorm is no more. And may he stay dead this time. The transformation Kethrick underwent was... horrifying. So powerful, but so grotesque. Murkov's Chosen is naught but a corpse. Let us see the other two suffer the same fate. Okay. I believe that is everything here. Oh, let's talk what to Aelin. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> there it is, the unmentionable dagger. comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it, our enemies are formidable. How is it you're able to leave the Astro Prism now? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With the brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. What are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril. An ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are never stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasites, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. dealer and a slaver, a worshipper of Bane, a god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it's most likely she follows Baal, the god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Whoa, look at it! <laughs> Hold up! The Star Hit and Shadow Heart looking like freaking models back here. What are they staring at and why? <laughs> I have to take a screenshot of that, dude. <laughs> looking gorgeous back there. I'm so sad that I can't see Lazel because I bet she looks so pretty too. Chosen of the Dead Three? Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Gosh, my... Each one alone so would pretty. be a formidable <laughs> enemy. But working together and controlling an Elder Brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. What 
What do we do now? We prepare for the fight of our lives. And the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance to strike comes, you must take it. For there may only be one chance. This is the armor that I had Telesa in until the end of the game. That's such good armor. His Warhammer, on the other hand, sucks. Um... All incoming damage is reduced by two. Activated, you can't be removed against your will by any spell action, but have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Hmm. I'm gonna have to dye it because it doesn't look as good on her as that other armor. Yeah, no. world ends. Not as bad as it could have. Merkel's chosen is not but a corpse. Let us see the other two. <laughs> we stole his clothes. <laughs> oh. Well, doesn't turn up in Moonrise Tower. She may have escaped on one of them and made it to the city. Is that it? Okay. You've been thinking on all that you learned below. It's... If you've got your breath, we ought to discuss our next steps. There are important matters to discuss. Hold on, hold on. Everyone wants to talk to me right now. <laughs> I need five seconds for the game to load, and then I can figure out what I need to do. Okay, maybe I need a minute for the game to load, because clearly it doesn't want to load at all. <sighs> Gosh. Catch my breath. Thy hunger denied. Saluna's faithful yet shines. The balance shifts. Thou hast seen with thine own eyes and felt in thine urges. The dead three unite. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? His abominations are soulless, surely. Correct. Yet, the three 
Amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, O oh, tempted one? This is the question oh, I must one. come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. I'm surprised to see you. Why are you here? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. You know of these urges. What can you tell me? Nothing thou dost not already know. You seem to know a lot about the Dead Three. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder. Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. Very well. I've never done a hireling. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain, bound by lost Nethery's magic, with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Um, you've tangled with the dead three before? Extensively. Mind flares, too. And I never dreamed of seeing gods and illithids working in consort. It is most disturbing. But take courage. We have killed a man who could not die and stripped the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone, and you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you, and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. I'll be glad to have you by my side. Glad to be there. Falling foul of Catherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. I'll see you at camp. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? With the Absolute's army I'll gone, the Risen Road should be clear. <laughs> We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentholan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders as well as give them.
Miraculous. You did it! You squished Catherick! I knew you could do it! Even if Mull said you couldn't. Done putting Catherick in his place. Couldn't have done it better myself. Back in last night, I was racking my brains. How the hells do we get past the curse? And then a blinding light cuts through the darkness like a blade through butter. All thanks to you, I hear. Didn't think we'd make it without the old L rider to lead us. But you did a damn fine job. I freed Sevler down in the colony. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off as dead. I would. If he didn't have any fight left in him. He went his own way. I don't think he could face me. Or all of you. Briefest hesitation. Sarah's wars with old loyalties and wimps. I looked up to him. We all did. But he let us down when we needed him most. There are less mouths to feed, but we still need supplies for the road. We'll scavenge what we can. Hopefully, we'll see you again in the city. Hopefully. I like Sarah's. Sarah's is cool. Okay, who's gonna tell me that I can't open this door? Everybody's dead. <gasps> nat 20! How is that the first nat 20 that I've had today? It has been six and a half hours, and <laughs> that's the first nat 20. Like, that is wild. happening right now Is surprised. Well, when the wearer deals damage with a ranged spell attack, inflicts two reverberation upon the target. Same letter. My darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins with your dolls and your cousins and picture myself a enormous opaque a picture myself a enormous opaque a silvery shield surrounding you, protecting you. 
I knew somehow, deep within myself, that no harm could ever befall you, because I would not let it. Though the healers say it may pass into the City of Judgment soon, know this, darling daughter. I am always around you. I am always with you. And the Moon Maiden will never allow you to bear a burden you cannot carry. I hope... I love you forever. A love that has no death. Mama. recognize Shara as a goddess of creation or Selena as a goddess of direction, destruction, yet both are true. Born in the primordial ebb and flow of time, they forged a beer toil together in Chanti of other- okay, I've heard that before. approach. So what the hell are you doing up there or down there? <laughs> Why? Why are you guys going down there? Sugar and tea run. Ew, ew, ew. That might be worth a look. It's wriggling. Through a narrow crack in the wall, you hear something shift against stone. The pulse of a crawling, living thing. Determine what it is. I'm reaching in. Your awareness unfolds, expanding through every wall in the tower, every mind. A vast living network extending down into the dark, where something wakes. <laughs> what in the hell's? Oh no. Not again. <laughs> Tendrils snap like iron cords around your wrist. That presence in your mind looms large, closer now. <laughs>
Oh, thank goodness. I was worried I'd have to get involved. Now, let's keep our hands to ourselves, hmm? <laughs> yes, Dad. I was hoping that somebody would say something. I'm sad that nobody has or will. Wow, look how dark it looks. altar in your room. Apostle Diary. Most of the text has been scored away by time, but what remains appears to be some form of ritual incantation. Your white rib white ribs the pillars, your bleached skull the dome. Take on Apostle's final form, Cathedral Rot of Blessed Bone. Catherick's been studying something called the Apostle. But of which god? Oh, we know. <laughs> uh, Attracting drow exiles? Dictated to describe Yanthus by General Kethic. Sweeping up individual drow renegades is not giving us the cater of well trained veterans I want for our staff and officer support. Officer Corps we must be more ambitious. Agent Gilver, True Soul 113, will be commanded to infiltrate Menzobaran and, and bleh, Menzobaranzin itself, ideally Hal Spanner, ostensibly to. Oh my lord, what are these words, bro? Pro. Pro. pro Proselytize on the behalf of the divine absolute. I think Zilver will be convinced in, on the, in this rule. This intrusion will ex excite. Oh, oh my lord. I can't read, dude. Stop using big words. <laughs> this intrusion will excite outrage among the banner matrons who can be counted upon to send a warband to exterminate whoever was so rash as to promote anti, anti loyalty apostasy in their home. Zilver will have left a clear trail back here to Moonrise Towers, where the warband will find not a circle of ragtag heretics, but an army in the making. 
It will parlay with the drow leader, but as we negotiate, her warband will be ambushed, and every drow warrior we capture will be tadpoled. This accomplished, the warband leader will will meet the same fate, and thus we shall acquire a cater of hardened underdark warriors. And all it will cost us is the life of loyal agent Silver, but he is, truth be told, a tedious enthusiast, and I will not miss him. Swelto's Ethic of War Ethic of War by Christina Swelto My colleague Amabs proposes fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare our enemies then once they have fallen to our might, or are we to put all hatred behind us when surrender is offered? Indeed not, for what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and masses them once again along our borders? We shall wage another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnanimity. Magnanimity! Once an enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be raised to the ground. Only then can we be free of its specter. A rich and fertile land. Hmm. What's that? Oh, why well, thank you, Astarian. This ancient map depicts the areas surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail, depicting a profusion of local fauna, deer, rabbits, black bears, and flora, with special emphasis placed on areas for prolific foraging. Invasion um, plans. Oh, invasion invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. A map of Baldur's Gate depicting Upper City, Lower City, and Outer City as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Great Harbor in, in the near coast of the Chianthar. Arrows show the intended progress of the armies of the Absolute with weak points in the city. Defenses marked with X. Elder Brain Domination. Confidential. Dictated. Describe beyond this by General Catherick. Young Gortach's plan to to enslave an elephant elder brain to make it and make it our marionette under control of the Karnacarsis has proceeded almost without flaw, barring the slight delay with, while our boilist allies sorted out their leadership conflict. The weak point must surely be the sharing of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement and that of the Mulder, murder cult, but eventually it's certain to fracture our fragile alliance. Clearly all three nether stones must be controlled by a single leader, me by preference, but not until after... After all the stakeholders have made their essential contribution, Gortash fears that energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the absolute will eventually metamorphose into something new and more difficult to control. If he's right, the need to invest the power of the nether stones in a single wielder is urgent, even more so in that Enver Gortash, at least, must be thinking the same way. Purple grapes. I want to lay in this bed. Oh, man. Quite the lavish bed. <laughs> Missa from Gortash. General, given what we know from my research about the gift... Gith artifact, I can't emphasize enough how critical it is that it be recovered. The power that artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels, but if it falls into the hands of enemies of wit and persistence, it could bring down all of our plans and schemes. The body of our hand-picked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Nautiloid, and I'm not at all easy in my mind about that fact. Find the artifact. Employ rigorous means. Do not fail. Lord Gortash. That's an interesting...
Dorian. Of course, you're the only one that wasn't following them. <laughs> oh, okay, it's 14. Dirty 20! Cloak of Elemental Absorption. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage from the next elemental tar attack targeting you and deal an additional 1d6 to that element type on your next attack. You know what? I'm gonna give that to Lazelle. Because, uh... I'm not really doing the whole poison thing anymore, so... Ooh, I like the way that looks. I need to get her another necklace now because I don't really care about the Broodmother's Revenge. Okay. Letter to Catherick. My darling husband, I know my time is drawing near. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave our little girl. But I'm not writing to lament our lot. It's ours and no others. The city of judgment is dark. I know our lady's light will find me even there. I will see her shining spires and walk the silver gardens we both dreamt of. I go to my reward and leave quite a task to you yet, my heart. Selena's light shines bright in our little one, but she will need a guide to keep on her path. I have no doubt that she will keep you on yours. It is the same path, our lady's path, and one day I know it will bring you both back to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye. There is no loss, only temporary separation. How I love you, forever, Melodia. A letter from Catherick's wife. Sounds like she loved him very much. That's so tragic. Because, um... I doubt that they would be together uh, now that Catherick is dead because he became Merkel's chosen. Oh, hey. So I'm sure that they don't go to the same afterlife. There we go. Oh, oh. I asked you the rounds again. What's the point? Everyone's wrecked. Okay. Um. I don't know what that or what goes in there. Come on, open up. Well, well, I knew it was coming. Sorry. Let's crack it open. <laughs> Let's crack it open. Now one. Okay, and that... Right tool will do the trick. 
What is in between? <laughs> what am I missing? And this just leads into Balthazar's room. I just screwed myself. Oops. Oh no. Oh, I'm so screwed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where is that? Oh, 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 um, it's the throne, throne room. It must be. Blessings upon you. Up, up. Thanks for watching out for me. You lot could have tossed me back in the shadows. Oh, Hassan! No oh, Daniel! Daniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly now that Oliver has returned to him. When will the curse actually be lifted? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. What happened to Oliver exactly? Did Daniel absorb him? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Daniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday, see Daniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person, if the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. What now? You've got what you wanted after all. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, Nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. There's more that you want. What is it? Not what. Who. Whoa! But all in due course. Chill out, Halson. <laughs> My partner is behind me, by the way. <laughs> Um, I'm glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. Daniel. You did it. Catherick Thorne is no more. The shadow's grip is broken. Soon, the land shall heal. My work here is done, I think. It is. 
But mine is just beginning again. Soon, this will be a place of sunlight and greenery again. With birdsong honoring your triumph, nature moves at its own pace mm. and bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you when you need it most. What does that mean? You'd make a fine fist. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Thanks for your input, pal. My mom lives in the lower city. If those freaks hurt her, I'll turn them inside out. When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he saw out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. What about the flaming fists you've met here? What do you think of them? They are... different to what Duke Elton envisioned. And I can't comment on Duke Ravengard himself, but I've seen the respect he inspires in the flaming fist. And that tells me all I need about him as a leader. I hope you can save Duke Ravengard for the good of Baldur's Gate. What about you? When this land fell to the curse, I should have gone with it. Thaniel is the only reason I survived. It's only fair I stay here and wait for him to awaken. Once we leave, this place will be pretty empty. Will you be all right? You don't have to worry about me. The truth is, the shadow fell, broke something inside me, something no healer can fix. As a shadow fell usually does. I don't know how long I have, but because of you, Thaniel is safe. Because of you, I could help him as he helped me. So, thank you, my friend, and know that I have no regrets. Art's a pretty neat guy. How much farther can I go? Keterick's done. But that army's already on the move. This isn't done yet. <laughs> running everywhere it's time to fight back <laughs> <laughs> what in the skyrim guard was that it's time to fight back <laughs> anyways moving on Marcus. There you are. I was wondering where the devil you'd been. I was taking a little holiday in the Mind Flayer colony downstairs. That sounds slimy. Oh, it was. Never mind and bloody. Your distasteful predilections. We need to talk about Wolbrin. <clears throat> <laughs> Marcus, Wolbrin wants no nothing to do with you. You made that clear. Oh, forget about that. Wolbrin and the Iron Hand Gnomes are planning something dreadful in the city. They have room powder, they have motive. We have to stop them.
How can you be sure? Because they're a gaggle of vindictive crybabies with no sense of propriety. <laughs> that is to say, they gabbed about their plans like a geese, and I overheard them. Like a very devious goose. <laughs> <laughs> Is this just because Wolverine rejected you? I'll not deny he wounded me. I cared for Wolverine. Care for him, really. But he's... Well, he's acting like a true idiot. It isn't the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last. But I won't let him hurt anyone. Or himself. Seems we'll have our hand fu hands full in Baldur's Gate. With the sword of justice in one hand and the shield of self-righteousness in the other, we most certainly will. To saving the city. And my fool of a friend. <laughs> and then he wanders away. I love Vargas. Blissful silence. The stone's at peace. Moonrise has been cleansed. Baldur's Gate is next. Go home, Mark. I owe you an apology. I think you'll get there because we're friends, are we? It's Barkus you should apologize to. Your reading in Last Light was strained. Barkus and I are another matter. I'm dealing with you right now. I saw you as a means to escape, nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. I apologize for not seeing your true worth and for being, quite frankly, rude. In last light. You were being an arsehole. <laughs> Tough, but fair. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand gnomes are going to save the city. And you can be part of it. If you want my help, I'm gonna need more to go on. The plan is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand Gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Find me in the city. And once you see what it's become, you'll know that I, and I alone, can stop it. Hmm. Go home, Marcus, he says. <laughs> They're literally... <laughs> <laughs> They're 15 feet away from each other, and bro is still complaining. Just tell me what you need. Although, to be fair, if that was me, I would also be complaining. Dang it, I forgot that I had that. Oh, who am I going to give that to? Hmm. Subjugate the undead with your commands. Eh.
Mm. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Your body. I'm here. And and so are you. And my father, he he can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare dawn would undo. No dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Yeah! I love them! We love moon lesbians here. Oh, there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? You'd be most welcome. We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. <laughs> I love them! That's my girlies right there. The shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shah can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. You wanted something? I'm sorry. sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Okay. That's fair. The curse is broken and the shadows are lifting. In time, these lands will heal. I never saw myself as a banisher of shadows before. <laughs> I was always more of a lurker in, historically. <laughs> I love this is something I was telling my friend too. I love the uh the dichotomy between saving the day in act one and saving the day in act two. Like in act one he talks about how he hates that he's the hero and that he saved the day and stuff like that. And then here in act two, he's like all giggly and happy and he's like, Oh, I never saw myself as being a banisher of shadows. Like that's so cute. I love that you can actively see 
his moral compass changing through like throughout the acts it's so cute um I don't know if I want to talk about Casador's ritual just yet, but here we go. I wanted to ask about Casador's ritual. You must be thinking about it. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? <laughs> I just want to know what your intentions are. I hadn't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual or not what i've obviously thought about it if i was the one who completed the ritual i'd have such power and i could walk in the sun without fear i'd turn into a mind flare naturally who wouldn't be tempted of course i don't even know if i could complete the ritual it may be impossible but it certainly is tempting. <laughs> okay. I believe... Oh, wait. Can I sell stuff to Bark? Or, yeah, the Bark is... I'll be seeing you at your camp. Bro, I want to sell things. I have so much stuff that I... I can't get rid of it all, man. I have so many things, actually. Oops, I thought. I want to put that in my camp. Holy jeez. I have 14, almost 15,000 gold, dude. I am rich. I keep forgetting that I have these scrolls of anime dead. Okay. Um... I don't think there's anything else that needs done here, right? I've talked to everybody. We just head to Baldur's Gate. Go home, Marcus, he says. Long, dark below, but light above. Light at last. I live for her. There'll be plenty of dead to mourn when this is done. But songs to sing to. We leave the heart of the Absolute alive, thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. what I might do to my allies. Whatever you might do to one cannot be worse than what the Chosen would unleash on all. And you are the one who could prevent it. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. I don't know how, man. They've been Jahira's so snarky this whole time. Will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Will there be anyone left when we arrive in this city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own. 
and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. City before those monsters do. Baldur's Gate is my home. I have to protect it. Forever. Safe return to the city. We'll see you there. Who? Who? Uh, who? Who are you? You're. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe there are mind flayers targeting Baldur's Gate. We can't let them gain a foothold. I don't know who that lady is, but... The road to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's We're running, boys. We're running to Baldur's Gate. At long last, we're finding the the gate of Baldur. The road to Baldur's Gate. Oh, is come up on! Ahead. No turning back once we start down that road. Damn right. We're on the journey to Act Three. Shadow Curse will soon be forgotten, thanks to us. The Absolute's armies are on the march, and Baldur's Gate is their target. Oh, wow. That's cool that they, that it, uh, come on, that it actively changed the way the camp looks, like it's actually abandoned, like, torn down. That's cool. Where are you going? We need Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in the camp, bro. Retrieve it, quickly. Bro, if it takes me back down the... Bro, it's in camp. We must not leave the stone behind. Without it, we can save. No you one. are so dumb. Save ourselves. If we proceed, we will be enthralled. You cannot allow that to happen. You must retrieve the stone. Surely, if I. No. You cannot. No us. way, bro. I thought you trusted me. I was wrong. What is happening? And it will cost us everything. Your stomach drops. What? Your chest constricts. Your thoughts begin to splinter. No, when was the last time I saved? Okay. Not terribly far away. Oh, what the hell? Now you hear me. Now you hear me. Inventory until I get to act three. I thought it was just glitching out, but no. Wait, 
We're having terrible dreams at camp tonight, y'all. <laughs> We're having dreams about turning into mind flares. Now here's the question. At one point was this, was it before I went to Catherick's room or was it after? Cause I'm not exactly sure. Oh, boo! Don't give me trouble. That was so long ago, man. So, starting, please just lock, unlock every door for me because clearly I'm incapable. decides that it's gonna freaking attack nothing like clearly i meant to attack the mimic that's right in front of me through and look at everything again oh this is different I saw something light up here. Oh, okay. oh, this is before I talked to Daniel and them, too. Well. Thanks for watching, 
I clicked on it. I'm in conversation. A crack in the wall, you hear something shift against stone. The pulse of a crawling, living thing. I'm sad that I start that I didn't get a star in that time. His else is also kind of funny though. <laughs> hmm. Bro's got spoiled food on him. I was about to say, I sure hope I don't need a star in to lockpick all these doors. that the rest of my companions would come down and join me. Is that the way that they need to go? Hey, Lizelle, do you want to follow him, maybe? Dude, this sword looks so massive. When it's on her back. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, hi, everybody. Glad everybody could finally decide to uh, be together. <laughs> Oh, 
from Catherick's wife. Sounds like she loved him very much. I thought somebody else had something to say about that. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, is that blood? No, never mind. Oh. <laughs> the starian. Is there anything else that I needed to? I still want to know what that is. I'm almost out of lockpicks again, or taste tools again. I'll never find out what it was. Why are we still here? Helms blessed. In the... It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. They are, but I've seen. I hope you can save Duke Ravengard for the good of Baldur's Gate. When this, it's only fair I stay here and wait for you. But. What was it like in there? Nathaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly. Now that Oliver has returned, I can't save us. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. No more than my right hand can absorb my... What well, I hope, still. I would... Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. Not what? Who? But all in due course. Thanks for watching out for me. You did it. Catherick Thorne is it nature. I'm glad that's still the case. You'd make a fine fist. Uh. 
Helen. My love. I am. In this moment. Ah. Oh. They watched me. I have more to thank you for than I knew. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later. We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the f I'll be right now. Aelin! Okay. Now him. I wouldn't have lasted long. Be gone. I must admire Isabel's fulsome beauty away from prying eyes. Sorry. <laughs> Just tell me what you need. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do with that necklace.
Lady Light. Lady Light, your way. Um. I think I've talked to everybody now. We leave the heart of the. You did. There are many more battles ahead. What? And you? You have to hear how sin. But if we are to oh, succeed, we will need others. Here's what someone you said in the journey had her approach to you. Now some strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. Did he mention that last time? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. I hate trying to walk through doorways, right it's so annoying. West of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces. will soon be forgotten, thanks to us. The Absolute armies are on the march, and Baldur's Gate is their target. Ugh, camera? Jeez, everybody wants to talk to me. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? It seems he's a servant of Bane, as Cuthric served Merkel. Who knows what powers he's gained since you knew him? I'd never have protected a Baneite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! Careful, Karlak. You're burning up. You bet your ass I am! And I won't stop till that fucker is dead! I can feel it. The engine. It's getting hotter. Louder. It's going to blow if we don't find another way to fix it. You know, Zariel may have put the fucking thing in, but Gortash gave it a go-ahead. You expect this shit from devils, but not from the people you care about. Let's get to the city. Got business there I'm highly fucking keen to attend to. Oh. We 
wish we could stay and see what this place will be like without the shadows. I bet it's beautiful. No rest for the wicked, huh? Tell me more about your relationship with Gortash. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just, it felt like a good fit. I kept him safe and he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him, trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Mm. Poor Zach. I want to hug you. Glad to have an ally. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. The absolute's cult has Raven Guard. Where would they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's army's on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Gortash and Orin. Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash. And even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. <laughs> Zora said you can say what led to your pact in exile. This time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? What would you do you sacrifice? Or what would you sacrifice to save it? I wouldn't give up my soul, if that's what you're getting at. It is. And I did. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. Oh, well. What's the cult of the dragon? I've never heard of them. 
A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses, the dragon Tiamat. A ten day Tiamat. after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant. First softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul, and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Zora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zarya. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. He says another. So it makes me wonder how many packs Mizora has with other people because I mean she's a devil so it makes sense that she has a lot but I'm curious just how many you took on 25 cultists on your own I find that hard to believe I had Mizora at my side and the arch devil Zariel guided our hands that day I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis the cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you blessed your eye in the battle with the Cult of the Dragons? Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. It was brave what you did for the city. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. I understand. Is there anything else? Oh, you must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. And Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither.
Hmm. I suppose I can't blame him. For all he knew, he'd sprout horns any second. <laughs> and I went and proved him right. They're quite nice ones, I will say. Is to his city. First and foremost, there would only ever be one outcome. Okay. Thank you, Will. I like story time. Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Little bear. be thwarted. Comforting to know. You wanted something? Mm. Oh yeah, do these two have something to say about that? What's on your mind? The shadows are lifted. Finally, we can breathe free. I like you really don't have anything to say. Soldier? Nope. I think we've done rather a good thing here. A welcome change to give this land a sliver of hope amongst so much despair. How can I help? Okay. I thought he would say something about the, uh, the orb. Or the crown. The curse is broken and the shadows are lifting. In time, these lands will heal. So smiley. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? <laughs> I haven't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual or not. What? I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. Mm, would be tempted. Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. Your path leads away from me, I sense. Be safe. Perhaps one day you will see the fruits that your victory has sown here. I wish. If only the game would let me. I swear, I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. 
But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. in him do you not recognize your own blood my father that was him that is him he lives still and your mother too no it can't be i'm an orphan and who told you that your adoptive family you are not to blame you were young impressionable they took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. I'll help. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. The Spear of Night? I thought that was cast into the Shadowfell. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What do you do with it? That will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <sighs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. 
Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Sununa's Spear of Night. your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorm, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Actually, no. I did some things I'm not proud of, but I'm proud of this. Proud of us. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. There's still a great deal about you I don't know. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Are you really Saluna's daughter? Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the Dead Three? Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. How did you come to be trapped in the Shadowfell? <sighs> Ketherick Thorn. Father of my one and only love. Enslaver of Dame Aelin. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn never did trust me. Even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel. By her love for me. When she died. Curse the day. The hour. We each of us mourned bitterly. But Ketherick's pain could be touched by no aid. No boundary. He turned to wretched Shah. The Lady of Loss for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Ketherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead. And we, we live! Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. You should join my camp permanently. We can fight the powers of evil together. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. 
I have questions for you, Dame Ellen. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Would your mother know her to hear that? Isabel. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. You and Aelin seem to have a lot of history. What happened? A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorm is... was... my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? No, but it sounds like you do. Guilty. The moment I looked at Aelin, I just knew I had to be with her. I was hers. That was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why. But all was black. 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 Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. He'd become the chosen of Merkel. I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years, that my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them, and myself, no matter what. Understandable. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be... I didn't talk to I didn't talk to Wolburn. It's fine. So it's a quest to free Shadow Heart's parents, is it? And here I was, worried I'd be the only one with a difficult family reunion waiting in the city. I'm all pointy ears, my love. <laughs> Can't get enough. I'm not surprised. They have like a slight height difference, so Ilgar has to stand up on their uh, their tiptoes. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. 
May its keen edge draw forth whatever vengeance she desires. Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes... Sometimes I wonder. Good time for a chat. Taken from the light to be raised in darkness. Your truth is finally dawning, Shadowheart. You can follow its light, or... You can retreat back into dusk. The truth is finally dawning. Shadowheart can follow its light, or she can retreat back into dusk. Wow, that's glitched as hell. Love that. <gasps> Big stretch. Shadowheart was no true child of Shah, merely a captive. She must have her vengeance. Oh, did you hear? I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. I guess I can take care of myself. I mean, I've gotten this far. Okay. Uh, talk to Shadowheart again. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think this has changed, has it? How are you yeah. holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. I've been lied to my whole life and I was gullible enough to just believe it my parents are alive and I have to save them I think a part of me always knew that a part that Shah denied to me You've been forced to live a lie. At least now the truth is starting to reveal itself. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. Do whatever you need to. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. anything else to say, right? How can I help?
Oh good, I can go back and talk to Wolverine. No, nope, never mind. <laughs> the curse has been lifted. The lands cleansed of the shadows. Catherick's reign of living death is over. see it again because look at it oh shit i forgot how vibrant their colors were <laughs> what a dlc just to be able to see the shadow lance again Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure. The preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord. But there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. My prodigal bloodkin is among them. They live? <laughs> Barely. I made mince of their ugly mind matter. And if they dare return, I will strip out their off.
Let me tell you, the first time that I heard that, I literally just had to sit there and stare at the city and cry because it was so pretty. I love the soundtrack in this game so much. And I'd already been listening to that song a lot, like the actual, that version of the song, because I listened to the soundtrack for this game religiously. And hearing that in that moment, at the peak of your story, right before you get into Act 3, Oh, gosh, it was so good. I literally I sat there and I had I just like cried a little. I'm like, oh, this is so pretty, dude. This is why I love this game. 
it's so cool. One of my favorite, just like moments that happened. Not even like story-wise, just when looking at the beauty of this game. It's so cool. Black diamond. Shadowheart has found a little bit of herself again. Soluna cannot take all of the credit. She may have lit the way, but it is the cleric who took this step. Now we're traveling together. I really just don't know much about you. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. <laughs> Is it true that you fought the Death Three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books, or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? <laughs> your wise and wizened elder? Enough years that counting them is a waste of what remains. Which is to say, yes, I am that old. I wanted to ask you something. Ask it. You mentioned you know something about the Tuts. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think. Saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. <laughs> who are you speaking to? Maybe I'm the parasite popping in this body. Then, greetings. There, Tadpole. I was wondering where all the questions suddenly sprang from. <laughs> I love you, hero. I love her little, her little camp area too. It's cute. Oh, I love the soundtrack, dude. I'm having a moment again. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's like, it's so hopeful. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so cool because like, act two, there wasn't really any music. In Act 1, of course, you get the I Want to Live, which is melancholy as all hell, including the lyrics. And the, this one just has a touch, a touch of hopefulness to it. A bit of whimsy, if you will. It's very cool the way it changes. Mm. 
Well met. Man, nobody has anything to say. Soundtrack back is too quiet now. I heard my words. <laughs> it's like I got you. I'll play a song. I'm listening. I love that even with the hundred approval, they sell greetings. They're not like friendly. They're just like less demanding. All's well, I hope, aside from the obvious. This camp. This is probably one of my favorite camps in the whole game. Mickey's little tag. Oh. Dude, Scratchel got it better than freaking Ilvir at this point. Bro's got a whole tent just for himself. I don't think Ilvir has an actual tent. I think they just sleep by the fire. Scratch his tail, wags enthusiastically. And you sweet boy. His tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. What's on your mind? Nothing. Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is strong enough to endure. But her path will be easier with our support. What would you like to know? <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seems my faith was more than well founded. Oh, Gail? Oh, he's probably gonna talk about, uh, the Crown of Curses. Throw in their bed rolls. <laughs> in there. The 
absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mistra further, I'm glad it didn't come to that, given what has come to light. Oh, Carlyle? <laughs> You don't miss the Shadow Curse Plan, son. What are you talking about? The Elder Brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. What do you suggest? We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. <laughs> Sorry, it's just staring at no fear. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to just go shopping? Why would a Bladurian magic shop be the first place we look? Ha! Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, Nethery texts are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. What's on your mind? Those are weird sounds. get up there. There's a crate in there. Resurrection instead. But I don't think they're going to have anything new to say. But I'm making my rounds, so I have to ask. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. I can only imagine. 
Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. <laughs> The gate is closed, as is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperial soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. <laughs> and elevate him to an unfathomable station. His eyes look to so red, dude. In a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. It sounds as if you envy him. Of course I envy him. Why wouldn't I? The problem with what Cazador has done is that he did it to me. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. So you'd kill to take that power from him. Yeah, there's bound to the ritual. <laughs> What's a handful of the wretched servants? If they're anything like me when I was enslaved, they're all but begging for death anyway. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I think I deserve something better. All that matters to me is that you're safe. I know you do. It matters to me as well. I want to be able to protect you, too. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to, to ascend. ascend. As long as you're sure you'll be all right seeing them again, love. Oh, you're too adorable. I'll be fine. I'm sure they'll bring back memories of so many pathetic years, but I'm much stronger now. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. And then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Pretty <laughs> Unless Casador has changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. To kill me again, darling. Come on, it happened one time. <laughs> and I didn't warn you. I'm all pointy ears, my love. How could I say no? No bad time kiss. <laughs> oh, you are perfect every time. The blue in his clothes really brings out it, his the red in his eyes. A little bear and scratch are uh, having a fight. Is that why they're like so far away from each other? That would be funny. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. So 
sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With his help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. And what then? You are prone to impulses as uncontrollable as the gods themselves. Will you even have a say in what you do? Will you liberate the true souls from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. That's what I figured.
just have better initiative than my team does? That's wild.
Fight with me for your own survival. Together, we can turn the tide. Sorry, Lisa. Guys, they say it's like 19. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't consume them. Flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. It's obscene to owe my life to a damned gay. No more lies, no more tricks. I will have answers. I refer the other version of you. You were in the prison all this time. Why did you deceive me? It was necessary. Rare are those that would openly consider a partnership with a mind flayer. Sure you wanna play? Even those who are on a path of becoming one. I was someone once. Someone just like you. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. For years, I served the Elder Brain, the one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free, and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman. We formed a partnership. She's and through so her, pretty. I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home. And brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've been. Gortash was one of the chosen in the colony. Indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. So are you going to tell me what this battle was about? We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. Orpheus? Impossible! He was slain by Gistil Kithrak himself! Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus's mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus's mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him 
and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Was it you or Orpheus that Flacketh wanted us to kill when she ordered us inside the prison? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Geth Yankees still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was in prison. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. Were you imprisoned here too? No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prison. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. Mm. And found... Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. What happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. I'm no one lithid. I never will be. You are already more a lithid than you realize. It has improved you. You seek to reverse an inevitable process, a process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elder Brain, I too railed against the change. But the longer I have inhabited this form, the more it has grown on me. Even if my original body remained intact after I transformed, I would not return to it. Doing so would only impose limitations. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. No. I'm trying to avoid becoming a Mind Flayer. I thought you agreed to protect me. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. No, no way. Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. 
Your mind bristles with a livid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? I felt that. It's your nature. You cannot fight it. So embrace it. I've done nothing but resist my nature. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Probe at the tadpole's intentions? Resisted your illicit instincts. And now. You are not ready yet. Keep hold of it then. Until you are. Which will be never. It has enough vitality to further your evolution. And your allies. Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. Mm -mm. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. to die those. Consider using the tadpole. Your evolution will be a benefit to us both. Well, thanks for your time. I will be ignoring you. Ew, I don't like the way that portal looks. We'll have to wait. 
can't talk right now. The orb hums with cerebral magic, permeable, impenetrable. Within it, the Githyanki prince is as silent as a corpse, but for the murmur of his powers being siphoned away. Another day, another the rock resists all attempts to shatter it. Got it. No traps, please. Blacketh would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. A mighty powerful prince if he can block out an illithid hive mind. And even more powerful still. It's said he could bring a thousand Githyanki to their knees with one command. Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlaketh our ruler. The first Vlaketh of many. It is Vlaketh 157 whom my people now call Queen. How does Orpheus fit in? Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlaketh 1. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the Prince of the Comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlaketh's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Then Vossel's right. Orpheus is the seed to Vlaketh's demise. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, 
and the living weapon that conquered our Geich slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyank here to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. I'd like to talk about Orpheus. What about him? Why is he called the Prince of the Comet? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature, powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakid spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. Why did Vlakith keep Orpheus alive all those millennia ago? The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? Why would Vlacketh want Orpheus dead now, if he's so valuable alive? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlacketh's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. You were the hostile Githyanki in the prison. Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Geich, tadpoled husks in the Empress' thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Very well. Okay. All right. That is where, holy cow, I have not saved in a while. Why? <laughs> finish up all this camp stuff and then officially start act three <laughs> i'm so excited oh my gosh i can't wait to get to act three all right see you later